Diamond Pet State Money. One more time. Oh, huh? All right, go, go, go. We are at Diamond Head State Monument. This 475 acre park is Hawaii's most recognized landmark. Today we'll be hiking to the top of the summit. The trail is only 0.8 mile long, but it is steep and strenuous, gaining 560 feet as it ascends from the crater floor. The crater was formed about 300,000 years ago during a single explosive eruption that sent ash and fine particles in the air. As these materials settled, they cemented together into a rock, creating the crater. We're entering the dark tunnel. Brother, are you scared? This is a very long tunnel. Yay, we finally made it out! Oh no, now there's steep stairs to climb. Oh look, another tunnel. This trail is like an obstacle course. Now there's spiral stairs to climb. Yay, we finally made it. great view of the ocean from here. What? There's more stairs? When will we reach the top? Oh look, you can see the crater from here. Finally, we've reached the top of the summit and was rewarded with an awesome view of Honolulu. Learn more by searching dlnr.hawaii.gov. We are at Musubi Cafe. This is a tiny Japanese quick service spot known for its span musubi, plus bento boxes and rice bowls. Mmm, oh no. We are at Wyola Shave Ice. Brother's getting passion fruit, and I'm having green tea with red bean on top. Find out more at WyolaShaveIce.com. We are at Iolani Palace. Built in 1879, this was the royal residence of the rulers of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Today we're going on a self-guided audio tour. The blue room was used for informal audiences and smaller receptions. The state dining room features a crimson stain. Here's a bathroom, and I'm going to go pee in the toilet. As the largest room in the palace, the throne room is where the king held formal audiences, diplomatic receptions, and state balls. Now we're taking the elevator to the second floor. Look at the view from the balcony. This was the king's bedroom. The king's library is where he spent much of his time. The various objects in this room demonstrate his interest in modern technology. The music room was a place for composing, playing, and listening to music. Lastly, the room where the queen was held prisoner for eight months. She made this quilt during her time there. Book your tickets at iolanipalace.org. We are at Hawaiian Mission Houses. Established in the 1920s, this place served as homes and workplaces for the first Christian missionary. Mr. Willis is giving us a tour today. The doors on the second and third floor are used to load stuff into the house. First, we're going to the orientation center to check out a model of what this place used to look like. On to the next building. This was the guest room. The bed is supported by ropes. Mr. Willis is showing me a traditional Hawaiian bed made from the leaves of these trees outside. Next is the dining room. The utensils are very rusty because they didn't have stainless steel back then. Now we're in the master bedroom. The cradle above the bed is for babies and the trundle bed underneath is for kids to share. This is the kitchen. The first two burned down so they made the third one out of coral stones. Can I have some bread please? I'm hungry. Ah, a dead chicken! 
The sandstone filter was used to filter out water. We're going down to the basement. This is where they stored a lot of their stuff, such as soap, drugs, and slates. Lastly, Mr. Willis is showing me a printing press. He is demonstrating how you print the pages of a book. Ta-da! We had so much fun at the Hawaiian Mission House. Please visit missionhouses.org to learn more. We are at Bishop Museum. Founded in 1889, this is the largest museum in Hawaii and has the world's largest collection of Polynesian cultural artifacts and natural history specimens. There are also interactive displays to play with. We are heading to the Castle Memorial Building which features traveling exhibits from institutions around the world. Brother wants to fly like a bird and I am flapping this wing to make the chair spin around. I wonder how tall this giraffe is. Lastly, we're going to the Richard T. Mamiya Science Adventure Center, which has as many interactive exhibits that focus on marine science and volcanology. If you know our catchphrase, let us know in the comments below. Brother is going into a yellow submarine. Then he is taking the elevator to the second floor. Now I'm activating this volcano. We're climbing inside this volcano and coming out on the side. We had so much fun here. Buy your tickets at bishopmuseum.org. We are at the Pig and the Lady. This is a Vietnamese fusion restaurant in Chinatown. First we're having chicken wings for an appetizer. Then we ordered some brisket sliders and pho. And finally dessert. This was our favorite restaurant on the trip. Make your reservation at thepigandthelady.com. Plan your trip at gohawaii.com slash oahu. Stay tuned for part 5. Please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss a video. Also like and share this episode with your friends.